Hi guys and welcome back to Wednesdays with Karen. In this episode, I would personally open up what happened during the coronation night of Miss Earth. What really happened with my hair and makeup that night? I have stayed silent for the longest time. I've never spoken up. I never fought back on social media. I never answered any single negative comment. But this time, I would personally disclose the issue. earth you guys saw this 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 and this pictures online and perhaps even until now some of them are still there you know what the worst part about those pictures are when you are not the person who uploaded them hindi mo siya matatanggal so kung ayaw siya tanggalin ng tao na nag-upload habang buhay na siyang nandun some people or perhaps a lot of people made the pictures worst by editing it at the same time, when the pictures online are posted, you cannot defend yourself. You cannot say your part, and people have already judged you, and people have already condemned you. So this is what I'm going to talk about in this episode. And I know that I can share this because I know I can help a lot of people as well who are suffering with things like this, like cyberbullying or online bashing. To be honest, when my hair and makeup was done or was being done during that night of the coronation, I had no idea it looked that way. Don't get me wrong. I have eyes. Yes, I can see. But the reason that you have a team is because you cannot do things on your own. You know, it is completely acceptable to suffer for something you did. But it is completely hard to suffer for something you did not do. And especially if it's not your fault. And that's exactly what happened to me. I know this happened for a reason. And this is also for you. You know the first thing I've learned? Don't stay silent if you have something you ought to say. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying for you to fight back if you have something to say. What I'm saying is that if you have to apologize even though it's hard because I know that sorry is the hardest word you can ever say you ought to say it especially if it's your fault you cannot let someone suffer for something that you did you have no idea what you can do to a person that you hurt you do not know how that person is affected mentally or emotionally you know in my case what happened to me I was online bashed internationally after winning Miss Earth in my case, it was a huge doorway to depression. Can you imagine what happened to me? Do not let people suffer for not owning up for your mistake. If it's your fault, man up and be a better person to say that you are sorry because you have no idea what's gonna happen to that person. Do not continue as if something never happened. So parang, dead malam. That's what usually ruins a relationship, you know. The next one is forgive even without an apology you know in my case i never got an apology for what happened to me for my hair and my makeup during the coronation night i never did yes i did suffer after that and i took everything in but one thing i do know is that my makeup artist and my hair artist never did it on purpose i was not sabotaged it was just a mistake and it was a bad timing for a mistake to be honest <laughs> And I still love my makeup artist who still did that to me that night. I still love the one who did my hair. You know, they did not want that to happen. It just happened. And that's okay. Don't get me wrong. This video is not for me to rant on social media of what really happened to me. This is a video to show the people of the things I've learned. Forgiveness is not just for the person who hurt you. It's also for yourself. You're supposed to free yourself from the imprisonment of pain. That's why it's important for you to forgive, even without an apology. Next one, you can't please everybody. You have to know about this. Either you're the perfect person in the world, you can never please everybody. That's the reality of life. I am not your cup of tea, that's okay. You know, what's sad is, ang tao kasi, they tend to focus on the bad things that people say, but they overlook and not focus on the good things, the great and a lot of good things that people who love them 
are saying and the people who support them. And you really have to stop focusing on negative things that people are saying to you. You have to feed yourself with the positive things and positive thoughts and positive encouragement to really help you be a better person. Next one is to never fight back on social media. I have a rule. If you can't take it, don't read it. You know, I'm a type of person who reads everything because I have a strong personality and I honestly couldn't care less. So if you're the type of person who's very much affected, don't read the comments. You cannot listen to the lies of what people are telling you. You know, when I said in my previous vlog, you have to know yourself before you go out there. So no matter what they throw at you, you're not gonna listen to the lies because you know yourself. You are not supposed to take validation and acceptance from people. You need to know who you are and your worth before going out there. And that's gonna make you stand. Your worth is not found in your title, educational attainment, and how good you are. Your worth is found in a person and your worth is found in Christ. You know, you can never be hurt of what people tell you if you do not allow them to. If you fight back, you're just going down to their level. So don't do it. Never fight back on social media. Why? Because it is unprofessional. Remember the vlog that I told you that if you're going to apply in a big company, companies do look at your social media. And if they look at contents that they do not like or not a part of the mission and vision of their company, you're not gonna get hired. For the people who say bad things on social media, who are trolls and who love bashing people, it says so much about you, more than the people you're talking about. The person you're talking about is not insecure, but you yourself are insecure. It brings out more of your heart, more than the person you're talking about. Remember, when you're pointing at someone, there are four fingers pointing straight at you. So if I were you, before I type something or I say something, you better evaluate your heart and yourself first. The next one is to respond in an unexpected way. I'm telling you this, you know, sometimes when people do bad things to you, they want you to respond in a bad way as well. Unexpected way is responding in a good way for a bad situation. The world is cruel and unforgiving and you have to respond in the right way. You have a choice. A lot of people in this world want to bring the worst in you. I'll give you an example. You know when that happened during my Miss Earth? When all these pictures and all these things are happening, online bashing stuff. There was a an interviewer who asked me a question which I find so inappropriate. That person asked me, so how do you feel seeing your pictures in front of the newspapers and all the, the websites? It's like that interviewer saw someone bleeding in front of that person and then asked, are you okay? That's the exact situation or that's how I would explain it. I really thank God how I responded that way. I responded in a very professional way. You know what I said? I could never change that night or what happened that night. What I can change is how I respond and how I would move forward. You don't have to respond in a bad way or people just want to bring the worst in you but you're not supposed to do that. You have a choice and you have to choose the right choice. You have to learn to bring out the good in a very bad situation. The last one is forgive and forget. You know, a lot of people don't get this and they don't want to believe in these two words. Forgive and forget means is that you might not forget in your memory of what really happened because you can learn a lot of things. You know, you can learn lessons that you can bring in the present, in the future, or whatever happened in your past. But what forgive and forget means is that you will forget the pain that situation brought you. Every time you remember that situation, there's no more pain. You've forgotten the pain. And that's what forgive and forget is. There's bad things that happened to me, but it didn't define me. And it didn't stop there. You know, there were amazing photos that night. This, 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 and this, and so much more amazing photos that really captured and expressed of how grateful and happy I am winning that night. People would want to bring the worst in you by bringing up bad photos, you know, they would want to see how you would respond. But you have to focus and have the right perspective. Because there were great and bad pictures, you just need to know where you're supposed to focus on, how you would supposed to respond. 
So that's your choice. You know, everything turned out well for me in the end. When people say everything happens for a reason, that's real. You know, this online bashing and that really bad hair and makeup that happened to me served its purpose. You know why? Because winning that night was not just for myself. Winning that night means that I would speak for the people who can't speak and who are in a terrible situation such as this and who cannot defend themselves. So I can speak for and with them. So I'm just grateful because the situation that happened to me can be used to help people like them. You know, if winning that night was just for me, I never want to win that way. It's, it's selfish and it doesn't accomplish anything but for myself. So I'm actually happy winning that night and having a purpose even beyond that. And you know what? Every time I see my pictures, this is my story to tell. And truly, it's my story to tell to people. You know, looking back in the coronation night of November 4 of 2017, I never want to change any detail of that night because I truly enjoyed it. And I love sharing my story to other people. Okay, now it's time for Ask Karen. Who are your closest friend during Miss Earth? I love you, Queen. Oh, thank you so much. I have a lot of friends in Miss Earth during my time. Belgium and Chile and Nigeria and Russia and so on. But the closest person that I had in the competition was my Colombia. I love my Miss Earth Colombia because, and that's Juliana. She's so authentic and she's so real. And I never wanted to share that last moment on stage with anyone else but my Miss Colombia, and that's Juliana. And it did happen for the both of us. We were the last two standing in the competition, and I love her very, very much, and I can't wait to see her again. Next question. Ah, oh, this is a very, very good question. As a public figure, what are your thoughts on getting plastic surgeries? <laughs> Thank you for that question. I know a lot of people have this thought in mind, but do not have the guts to ask it because they're afraid that they might um, offend people or offend beauty queens. Well, honestly, I am not against plastic surgeries. I'm not against surgeries in general because I have friends who got it done and they look amazing on them. You know, it's not about being discontented. It really matters what's the motivation of your heart and your heart behind what you're supposed to do. Because if you're going to be against plastic surgeries, then you're against the doctors, and you're against the head and neck surgeons, and the rhinoplasties, and the plastic surgeons, which, you know, they do their jobs properly. It really depends on the heart of the person doing it, and not the action. There are a lot of people who do good things with bad, bad motives, so you, that's, that's just how I see it. You know, I'm not against plastic surgeries, I have friends who got it done, and they look amazing. Last question, what is your biggest fear? Wow, you know, that's a very, very good question. Hmm. Siguro ang pinakamalaking takot ko is losing my family because I'm very close with them and they are my backbone. So yeah, that's my biggest fear. So thank you so much for tuning in to Wednesdays with Karen. I hope that you enjoyed and learned so much in this topic. Do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button beside it. Tune in to the next episode of Wednesdays with Karen and do not forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. Till next episode!